I know this does not relate to today's video, but what an amazing day in the AI space. We got the release of the fastest AI chip with 18 million in funding. This is by Princeton University and it's truly amazing. Engineers at Meta AI are building a new generative AI infrastructure for Llama 3, which is coming sooner than expected. Now, OpenAI had a huge leak with GPT 4.5 Turbo coming sooner than expected as well. It supposedly is coming out in June, and there is already a blog post if you search with DuckDuckGo for GPT 4.5 Turbo, but it's not fully uploaded yet, and it actually had been rumored to have 256k token context video but nothing is fully confirmed yet. And to top it off, we now have the first AI software engineer named Devin by Cognition Labs, which is today's topic. Just take a look at this video. Hey, I'm Scott from Cognition AI, and today I'm really excited to introduce you to Devin, the first AI software engineer. Let me show you an example of Devin in action. I'm gonna ask Devin to benchmark the performance of Llama on a couple of different API providers. From now on, Devin is in the driver's seat. First, Devin makes a step-by-step -step plan of how to tackle the problem. After that, it builds the whole project using all the same tools that a human software engineer would use. Devin has its own command line, its own code editor, and even its own browser. In this case, Devin decides to use the browser to pull up API documentation so that it can read up and learn how to plug into each of these APIs. Here, Devin runs into an unexpected error. Devin actually decides to add a debugging print statement, reruns the code with the debugging print statement, and then uses the error in the logs to figure out how to fix the bug. Finally, Devin decides to build and deploy a website with full styling as the visualization. You can see the website here. All of this is possible today because of the advancements that we've made in both reasoning and long-term planning. It's a really hard problem, and we've only just started, but we're super excited about the progress that we've made so far. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a Patreon this past month, you were given access to 7 paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaboration with the community, as well as with myself, daily AI news, AI resources and tools, giveaways, and so much more. More. If you're interested, take a look at the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. That was simply remarkable. I've never seen something like this and it's something that we're going to take a look at throughout today's video. In short, this is the world's first fully autonomous AI software engineer that is able to do so much and it's something that we're going to take a look at as we go further into the video. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight to it. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the first AI software engineer, which is Devin. This is a revolutionized way to approach the field of engineering. And this is by setting this new standard on the SWE bench, which is a coding benchmark. Now, this is the world's first fully autonomous AI software engineer. We've seen many different applications or frameworks develop some sort of AI software engineer prototype, but this is something that is fully functional and it's fully deployable. Now, Devin serves as this invaluable teammate which is capable of working alongside with humans or it can work independently and this can be done to have it so that Devin can be deployed to complete any sort of task even on Upwork. Now with Devin's assistance you 
can basically have it so that it can focus on more challenging problems. You can have it enabled for engineering teams so that it can pursue various sorts of goals within your own team setting. Its abilities include planning, executing complex engineering tasks with thousands of decisions. It's able to leverage advanced long-term reasoning and planning capabilities. And it's also co equipped with essential developer tools and the ability to actively collaborate with the users, whether that's other AI agents or with humans. It's ensuring that there's a seamless workflow and it provides real-time progress updates. This is something that we're going to take a look at as we go further into the video. Let's actually take a look at some capabilities of it. Now, just take a look at this video, which is going to showcase how Devin can learn how to use unfamiliar technologies. Now it's able to read this blog post and Devin's able to run control net on the model to produce these images with a concealed message for the user, which is Sarah. Just take a look. Hey everyone, my name is Sarah and I'm going to show you how Devin, our AI software engineer, can autonomously learn from a blog post. Within a few minutes, Devin successfully generated this ba desktop background image for me with my name on it. So all I had to do was send this blog post in a message to Devin. From there, Devin actually does all the work for me, starting with reading this blog post and figuring out how to run the code. In a couple of minutes, Devin's actually made a lot of progress. And if we jump to the middle here, you can see that Devin's been able to find and fix some edge cases and bugs that the blog post did not cover for me. And if we jump to the end, we can see that Devin uh, sends me the final result, which I love. I also got two bonus images uh, here and here. So uh, let me know if you guys see anything hidden in this. Now, this is probably my favorite feature as Devin can build and deploy apps end to end. It's able to make these interactive websites, which is able to stimulate the game of life. Just take a look at this example, which showcases this. Hi, I'm Adyan, and today I felt like playing the game of life. So I asked Devin to implement it for me. Devin started by creating a new React application using the shell, and then it started writing some code through its editor. After that, it deployed the app through Netlify. Let's check it out. That seems nice, um, but there's a lot more features which I want to add. So let's ask Devin to do this one at a time. I want the words Devin to be written at the initialization screen instead of it being random. Then I want the word to be slightly bigger and the frame rate to be faster. I also want him to fix a bug where the screen gets freezed after 3 seconds. Let's see the progress Devin has made so far. We can see the diff and um, the last diff shows that Devin just fixed the bug uh, where the screen gets frozen after 3 seconds. This seems reasonable to me, so let's move on. Next, I want Devin to increase the frame rate after 10 seconds and also to make the website responsive to different window sizes. I also wanted to make it interactive so that when I click my mouse somewhere, it should spawn a new block. Let's check out what Devin has made so far. It started with Devin, which is what we asked for. And when I click something, it creates a new block as well. That's fun. Um, let's play around with it. Now we're not going to be going over every video, but you can see that there's many other things that it's also able to do. AI trains itself. It's able to find fixes and it's able to fix it in the code base itself. It can address bugs and features request in open source repositories within GitHub. You're also having it able to contribute to mature production repositories. And they even stated that we even tried giving Devin real jobs on Upwork. Now, this is something that I truly recommend you take a look at because it's absolutely insane as to how it's actually doing certain tasks on Upwork. Now, lastly, let's take a look at Devin's performance. This was assessed using the SWE bench and it basically presented agents with real world GitHub issues. This is from open source repositories and remarkably, Devin was actually successfully able to resolve 
13.86% of the issues end-to-end, -end, which is a significant improvement over the previous state-of-the-art performance, which is just 1.96%. Now, even when it's provided with exact files to edit, the best previous models managed to resolve only 40, or sorry, 4.8% of the issues. Now, Devin actually achieved the level of success without any assistance. It was able to do this fully autonomously, which is just nuts. And unlike other models that were guided on which files to edit, this was exceptional to see the performance that was highlighted by Devin's capabilities in the autonomous problem solving field. You can take a look at this. This was shown in the first video. It's just crazy to see that it's surpassing all the models in this bench and it's going to be able to do so much more when they fully release it. Now, this is funded by a lot of amazing different VCs. It has 21 million in Series A, which is led by the foundation or Founders Fund. And they also are allowing people to hire Devin. So if you're interested in using this, you can reach out to them. I've actually tried to get in touch with them. Hopefully I can, and we can possibly even have a video which goes over the platform ourselves. So that's basically it for today's video on Cognitions Devin. I hope you enjoyed it and you got some sort of value out of it. I'm gonna be leaving this blog post link in the description below but just what a remarkable day in the ai space so many amazing like releases and so many new updates now i will leave a link to the patreon link in the description below this is a great way for you to access amazing subscriptions completely for free make sure you follow us on twitter if you haven't already this is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe so that you're up to date with the latest AI news, like the releases of different softwares, as well as different AI tools, like the ones that we mentioned throughout today's video. So with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.